Welcome to this video. Today we'll be talking about the uh, derivative of natural log functions. They're very, very simple. Um, and I'll just start a problem because I get annoyed sometimes at those big theoretical examples. So I'll say the natural log of x squared. What do we do if we want to take the derivative of a natural log? The first thing to do is look at whatever's between the parentheses. I've got an x squared between the natural log parentheses. So I will say 2x, I'll take the derivative of whatever is in the natural log parentheses, fraction bar, and then I'll write whatever is in the natural log parentheses, x squared. The trick is to take the derivative and divide it over the original function of whatever is in those natural log parentheses. And that's all you do. You don't worry about the natural log function over here, you just write the derivative over the original. I'll give you another example. Natural log of sine of x. I look at whatever's in, in between those parentheses. I have the sine of x. What's the derivative of that? Cosine of x. And then I write the original sine of x. That equals cotangent of x. Not that it matters. How about natural log of x squared minus 5x cubed plus 3 divided by x. Well that's easy enough. I will simply say natural log of x minus 5x squared plus 3 over x and then take the I'll write the derivative of all of this and say okay 1 minus 10x plus and then what's the derivative of 3x to the negative 1? That's going to be negative 3 over x squared. And then divide that by x minus, I'm sorry, x squared minus 5x cubed plus 3 over x. We have a complex fraction or a compound fraction there that we'll have to uh, simplify, but that's the idea. You just write the derivative divided by original, and there's your derivatives. Hopefully this helped. If you have any questions, post them on facebook.com slash jocoengineering, and always remember to subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.